Some iPhone users will actually get frustrated when they're trying to use their default camera app on their iPhone to digiscope through the Mountain Mag Digiscope system. And that's because the default camera app will sometimes use something called spatial computing, where it uses all of the lenses on your iPhone in order to compose the image. However, this is not what we want when we're digiscoping because we're trying to just target a singular lens. So there are three really workarounds or solutions to make this experience much more enjoyable and make your digiscoping experience experience much more enjoyable on the default and on the default iPhone camera app. And the first one is just to disable the spatial computing option when it pops up on your camera app. So you can see right here that on the bottom right hand of your screen, there's gonna be a yellow flower that appears sometimes. That is the spatial computing. So when we snap on our mountain mag digiscope system and we target a lens and we throw it up on a spotter, we're checking out some pronghorn right now, boom, this screen will go black because the spatial computing is on. Now all we have to do is tap this right there and our image is back to normal. And so then we can zoom in and we can zoom in a little bit and it is a great experience. So this will work fantastic until you start really zooming in. You can zoom into 1x, you can zoom into 2x, you can zoom into 3x, but as soon as you hit your telephoto lens capability, it's gonna wanna start switching to your telephoto lens and your screen is going to go either black or it's going to try to be finding the correct lens to use. In order to stop that from happening, what you can do is you can go into your settings and you can go into your camera settings and then you can go to your record video settings and then you can toggle this lock camera and that'll lock the camera while you're recording video. So now we can go back to our default camera app. We can start digiscoping. We can look at these pronghorn like that. We can start recording and now we can zoom in well past 5x. There's 10x right there or 13x and that will give you a much better experience because you do not have to uh, or the, the iPhone camera will not try to automatically switch lenses on you. Now the third solution is to auto lock your focus. So what you can actually do is if you press and hold you can actually auto focus your camera lens and that'll lock the lens and the focus. So you can snap that to your camera lens and you will have to do some manual focusing on your optic a little bit more if you're using this solution. Um, but some people like to do that as the workaround. Of course, the solution that I usually suggest is to use Apple fi Apple's Final Cut Pro camera. This is not going to be using the default camera app, but if you download that camera from Apple, it'll give you pro level controls over your camera so you can control what lens to use and it'll just create an awesome experience. Uh, pretty much what the default camera app should be on the iPhone in my opinion.